This video is for a look at the demo of a game called Comanche. If you've played old Comanche games in the old days, then you will know the, this. <laughs> you will know the name well. Uh, It does actually support full screen exclusive, so that's fantastic. You change resolution here, and I'll put your monitor into that. You also have a vertical synchronization, which is off by default, but I turn it on because I like to uh, get rid of screen tearing. Uh, we also have a number of volume settings, which is great, and you can even modify your controls in a way. Uh, there's arcade simulation. Arcade uses an external camera by default, and simulation uses a cockpit camera by default. Um, I would love to try the uh, simulation mode, so I guess we'll uh, get around to that eventually. And we have some graphical options here which we can change if need be. So, I don't know what it's going to let us do in this demo. I will try and do some single player, but it looks like it's locked off. Uh, I might go... Proving Grounds. Learn the basics. Uh, first... Yeah, okay, we'll start with tutorial. My favorite helicopter game in the old days was Gunship 2000. Good morning, pilot, <laughs> and welcome to your flight and combat tutorial of the Comanche Weapons Platform. I'm Commander Jenkins, the CEO of one of the Comanche squadrons of the International Joint Task Force, or IJTF for short, call sign Dog Lord. You'll be flying co-pilot with Lieutenant Colson, call sign Vanilla. Their former co-pilot, Lieutenant Bowman, has recently resigned from IJTF for personal reasons. And as always, IJTF is in need of new Comanche pilots. I appreciate your withdrawal from the Academy was abrupt, but your preliminary flight score made it an easy choice to pull you from further academic study. As you're aware, ever since the United States RQ-170 UAV incident in Iran a few years ago, we've been granted a fleet of their newly upgraded Comanches from the reactivated program. They've been invaluable for our recent successes in global security operations. IJTF's personnel come from countries all around the world, so we're not beholden to the policy of any one nation. Global peace and stability is everyone's mission. Let's get your training underway, pilot. Dog load out. Pilots, this is Commander Jenkins. Welcome to the Comanche Flight Tutorial and Acclimation Program. I'll be providing oversight during this flight session and operating under my call sign, Dog Lord. For today's tutorial, you'll be operating the standard variant, a.k.a. the prototype. Let's begin with basic movement. Pull up on the throttle to increase the craft's upward drag. Notice that the altimeter in the top right corner of your HUD increases as you gain altitude. This is the distance between the craft and the ground below. Bring her down by reducing the throttle. I wonder if you can change the color of the HUD. Huh. Doesn't look like it. Because uh, that, that would be a um, something that would have been nice. Excellent. Now yaw the Especially with the left. Um, snow the and white clouds. The speed of the tail rotor. It provides an anti-torque force to stabilize the craft. But also allows it to rotate it. Y'all left now. That means turn left. Good. Now to the right. Now pitch the nose of the craft down to move forward. You'll know you're pitching downward 
is. When the crosshair is below the artificial horizon on the HUD. Those are the two parallel lines near the middle of the display, Rook. The forward angle of the rotors shift the rotor's drag vector, causing forward motion. Keep an eye on your speedometer in the top left corner of your HUD. Reach the speed marked on your HUD by moving forward. Roll this bird to the side. And external cam is pretty cool. It makes you think of uh, the again, old sir. strike game. Uh, nothing vanilla. There was chatter in the CIC about a security breach in Osaka. I will keep you updated if need be. Continue to the waypoint pilot. And engage hover mode when you arrive. So yeah, I'd be really interested to see how the that goes with a um, cockpit view that will Hopefully it'll be a bit like Thank you, 2000. The unmanned hero is your opponent for this combat test. I recommend you stay in hover mode for the time being. Orient the command sheet to face the enemy. Missile incoming. Missile incoming. Where are you? Oh, behind me. That's great. Some command sheet variants will have ballistic countermeasures. The prototype has a battery of flares to counter incoming missiles. Good. Your HUD should display a lock-on state with the enemy aircraft. When it flashes orange, the system is acquiring a lock. Hmm. Can't seem to turn my chopper. It's a bit weird because you um, steer with the right stick instead of doing the camera. If you want, you can deactivate the target assist for an improved fire rate, but your main weapon will overheat faster. That's what the target is all in the bottom right corner of the HUD. Check out the zoom function for a better view. For this task, we've deactivated your main weapon and guided missiles. Notice the eye beam on the HUD. The I-beam acts as a secondary crosshair for firing unguided missiles. Unguided missiles deliver a heavier payload, but can't use a lock-on. Aim the I-beam crosshair over the target and fire unguided missiles to eliminate it. Be aware, any craft movement will change the missile's vector as well. Reload on or off. Well, I 
destroyer. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, I changed these controls around. They're a bit weird. Yeah, it's a bit easier to aim when you got the free look mode off. Oh, we didn't destroy him. So what's this thing? General. Hmm. See, <laughs> if I modify that, it's gonna. This is odd. Okay, let's try changing that to simulation. Understood, Dark Lord. We'll head there now. Rook, would yeah. you be so kind as to take us to the location? Might be a bit here. <laughs> Where are we hitting? Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. So, board on the left stick is making it go forward, and back's making it go back. I, I slow down, I guess, and then that's turning left and right. But it seems to be possibly a bit of roll. I'm not sure. This here's got. I mean, that does roll as well. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to take a little while to get it set up exactly as I want, but... Can we get through here without uh, it looks a little small for us to enter. Should we use a drone? Affirmative pilots. The Comanche is equipped with a set of drones. A drone. Which can be remotely piloted while operating the Comanche. Deploy the drone and inv Okay, well we gotta let's let's just get the helicopter kind of stable. stable now, we're not gonna... Okay. <laughs> what was the drone button? Is that the drone? No. Oh man. What was the drone button? Hover mode. 
Okay, so that's even better. So what's the drone then? Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's a bit slow moving, isn't it? Can we fit through there? Bit small, isn't it? How are we going to do that? Boost with B. Weak drone signal. Sir, it's a submarine wreck with some generators by the look of it. Understood, Vanilla. Footage from the drone leads me to believe that this was a training camp for the IGTF combat engineers. It seems they didn't disable all their equipment before they left. These generators are dime a dozen, Rook. How about we give our esteemed colleagues a little repair project on their return? They shouldn't have left them on standby in the first place. Probably why they switched back on. Use the drone's main weapon to neutralize the generators, Rook. Note that moving and firing with the drone is less accurate than firing from a stable position. Your drone also has a sticky grenade for armored targets. Weak drone signal. Weak drone signal. Weak drone signal. Signal. Weak drone signal. Drone connection lost. Reconnecting. Ah, oh, crap. Drone reconnected. What that guy in front does? Guns, maybe? Okay, what was the drone button? Where's the sticky bomb gone? What's it actually doing? Can't even see anything happening. Sticky bomb. Somehow I don't think that's a sticky bomb. Ah, oh, you're kidding me.
Yeah. Not liking this strange bull crap. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could go underwater in a helicopter. <laughs> oh, man. How do I get this back into hover mode? Hover mode active. Okay. <laughs> Offline, sir. Sir? This is Vanilla 2. Come in, sir. Sir? Pilots, I've received an emergency support request from IGTF Osaka. We've received news of a cyber security breach. We've been requested to return to base to brief for deployment ASAP. Understood, sir. Rook, switch back to the Comanche. Don't worry about the drone, Rook. We're outfitted with more. Take the Comanche to the waypoint set by Doglord. I got a feeling you'll be kicking your training wheels real soon. Uh, I guess that's a sticky bomb. Uh, anyway, yeah, we hit back. Now what? done on the training mission pilot. You'll have to pardon the lack of post-mission pleasantries, as we've been called for an emergency operation off the coast of Chennai. We're currently the closest IJTF Comanche unit in range available to assist. You'll be briefed along the way. We'll be linking up with an IJTF Maritime Expeditionary Force, call sign Frogman. Stand by to receive further information. Dog Lord out. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I think we're going to have to use, um, I think we're going to have to change the controls.
Okay, what's happening? Um, yeah, see, it's it, buttons are changed now for shooting. Um, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is gonna be real difficult to um get all the settings how I want but if I go back to my cave and if I just change the what if I try that so it's arcade but what if I try that You see if that helps. So now I can steer with the left, which is the view. Look up and down. Oh, but the shooting. Yeah, the shooting's on different buttons now. We had a rocket, so no? loading. Yeah, see, you can't see. You can't really see much that way. Okay, where is so I want to change these two around. Come on, the delay, son of a... And I also want to change the left and right trigger. Why is it saying that? I'm pretty sure that's not how it works with the arcade mode. Auto hover, not a sign. <laughs> it could be a problem. Oh, look at that, you can zoom in and out. That's cool.
Yeah, not a fan of that. I like using the triggers for the guns. Oh, where's the other one here? Yeah, this is for a drone, though. Ah, oh, crap, really? Oh, man. This is going to be so annoying to change the control. There should be another thing here. Can't see it though for some reason. Oh well, let's try it. So we've got this is just the camera, and then that makes us go backwards, that makes us go forwards, that turns us left and right. Yeah, it should be good, eh? It should be good. But a wait, hover mode active. I don't have a hover mode button. So we gotta get a hover mode button, but yeah, what could I put it on? Auto hover. Hmm. I wonder if that's what it's called. Yeah, well, we'll try that. It says auto. I mean, it says assigned to something else, but it. I can't see it. Here we go. Now let's see how it works. Yeah, I can't fire that for some reason. I don't know why. The said no B, didn't it? Yeah. Wait, no, did it? Um, Uh, so it's been clearing them, and then you get this not a sign increase right all right um A scene, D scene. Right, so how are we going to increase our throttle then? The 
this is where you want to get a proper flight stick, isn't it? Um, yeah, our drone controls are screwed, but you know, that's just the way it is, really. Um, what about D pad? Are we using much in the D pad? I can't see D pad. Here's D pad. Drone. Ping wheel. Free look. So, what about. What about the buttons? The stick button. They see things in it. Yeah, you zoom in, you zoom out. Um, yeah. Signature ability, secondary ability. Secondary fire. <sighs> Um, hmm, I wonder if I should get rid of zoom in and out. Increase throttle, decrease throttle. Pitch forwards. Yeah, it's a toughie. Hey, it's not picking up the right stick button. Crap. Oh, well, we can't use that then, can we? What the heck? Oh, you sack of crap. Okay, let's try using the D-pad and then putting drones on something else. Okay, so I can put put drones onto the stick buttons, and then there's something we're going to be missing. Uh, what would it be either oh, zoom, yeah, but we don't get that. Okay, finally. Wait, no, it's not right. Something's wrong. Oh, 
Yeah, something's wrong, but I, I, I don't know what it is yet. I can't. The right stick is correct. The the left stick. Something's weird with the left stick. I knew it, eh? I knew, I knew exactly when it screwed it up. It was when I was trying to do the, um, I was trying to do something, I think it was the, this thing here, and I was trying to get it onto the, the right stick button, but it wouldn't do it. And then somehow I, I, screwed up this bloody left stick Do you see that? Like It's supposed to just turn the helicopter But for some reason, it's doing more than just turning it. Oh man, that is so annoying. Shit. It means I have to redo the whole lot. Yeah, see, this is what it's supposed to do when you go left and right. It's supposed to just do that. You see he's got a scene and D scene on the triggers, which is not what I want. But then we've got increased throttle is on the triggers as well. Doesn't make sense. This here, A scene and D scene, that's the drone. So why would why would the triggers be classed as increasing and decreasing throttle? See, that's not, that's not changing our speed. So how am I going to adjust this when what listed here is different to what actually is happening?
wait. Why can't I change my chocolate now? Yeah. What the heck? What? What is going on? Oh crap. Why didn't that work? Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to give up on it because it's just not. It's it's becoming more of a headache than it should be. I mean, I just put these onto the right stick and it's not doing it. What? Why is that backwards?
Yeah, that's backwards for some dumb reason. Uh, what else? Ah, I could have at least put the fire out. Um, <laughs> uh, gee, I, I think I'm going to have to give up on this. Maybe we're starting to get there. It's all backwards. It's it's like they need to You know, it's, it's as if there's a setting where it's inverting the controls. What's happening here? So that's making us go up. This makes us go down. That's forward and that's back. high or something. Oh man. Thanks for just sitting there, uh, waiting for me to destroy you. Yeah, not quite, not quite right, but...
Alright, let's uh, see what options we have for uh, playing. I mean, we can keep going through these tutorials. Uh, if we were to go multiplayer. We could not establish a connection to the servers. Uh. Oh, well that sucks. But we can't play single player because it's locked out. Um, Congratulations, we could try this. Rook. You have been assigned to a TELUS task force. My advisors were... Um, okay, well, let's jump in. Yeah, let's just go. I mean, it just, it doesn't grab me like Gunship 2000 did, but then Gunship 2000, back in the day, we had to fly with the keyboard, uh, which isn't actually a bad thing, because you got we so many buttons on the keyboard, the gemologists, one of those pesky that you, global you know, you can assign a series of cyber everything you need, unprecedented scale. a bit more than what you can we do with just a gamepad. to accelerate worldwide technological evolution by any means necessary. So we've been careful with Find and retrieve the experimental Alas, our cyber team. This is Link. Be ready to fly low, Rook. Remember your primary task. Get in, get out. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. So we have to fly low, apparently. Which, I mean, I remember that from Gunship 2000. You had to fly low into your missions. Um, so you can fly like in between the, the hills and all that crap. Or you could actually fly high enough that they... Well, I'm not sure. Will it fly low so you're under radar? Or will it fly high so you're over the, out of range? I don't know. I think it was I think it was fly low under radar, I think. Um, so we've got something over this way. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a yeah. bit of luck, the caves might get you to Gemologist HQ unnoticed. Well, it takes a while to get used to the control, but... What's this? Can I not target them? Weird, it wouldn't let me target them. Okay. Now these things are definitely... Oh, well. Okay, let's... Let's get into the... Yeah, here we go. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The <laughs> oh man. This is Lynx. Be ready to fly low, Rook. Remember your primary task. Get in, get out. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. 
With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. Ah. <laughs> Dramologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Should I cheat at that thing? Yeah, I feel like the right stick is probably a bit too um, sensitive. Now, what would we call that, though? Right stick, we're saying is throttle, so throttle sensitivity, let's put that down a bit. Let's try that. Look, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of the rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to your drone's computer. These codes were quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Probably got to adjust the left stick as well. What about flying underwater? Will that help as well? Be like a submarine? Yeah, see, I'm not sure about the aim sensitivity. Should I be adjusting that? HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Yeah, it looks like if you try and engage the enemy, then they it wakes them up. So probably better to just right, yeah. This is just working against me. Everything I do, I think. 
I tried to change the zoom and the name to zoom in, but then it actually made it more difficult. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. Yeah, but I mean, it's completely random because you don't know which which way you're supposed to go. Dramologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. See, because the camera is quite far back, it's hard to tell, like, when you're clear from certain things. Look, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of the rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to the computer. These codes were quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Alright, so what do I do? Do I gotta use my drone or do I can I hack them from here? See there's something coming out coming towards my way on the radar. Yeah. Looks like they know where I am. Oh I went down and set it up. And that pisses me off. Come on. No. Be ready to fly low, Rook. Remember your primary task. Get in, get out, bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Yeah, maybe we should change that over so that Where is it? Get the other way around. Brooke, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of the rhino. We've uploaded our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. <laughs> Can I hide behind him? Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, why can't the rocket? <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't see how... Uh, how it works. Um, I mean, I, I have no idea how to hack, how to do the hacking of the building. Um, does that mean I have to try and look up the buttons?
Hey, let's try um, the other uh, camera. Look, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of the rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access. Gemologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Something shooting at me. Nah, it's no good, man. It's no good. This is just... Get a lot. You see, but where the hell am I? <laughs> I can't see. Can't see very much at all. I'm nowhere near where I need to be. We're nowhere near the HQ, as far as I know. And the helicopter is basically done. But we did take out a couple of enemy choppers. Maybe. Maybe I'll try and do that next time. Okay, here's the building. Now how do we hack it? got no idea. See, it looks like there's a turret up there. Try and take it out. Which probably wakes up some enemies. Right, so how can we hack this thing? The only thing that comes to mind would probably be something like this here, Y or B. No, I think B is flares. So maybe it's why, or maybe you use the drone. Let's try why. Okay, I don't know what that did. Target assistant. Okay, uh, let's try dropping a drone. Um, e have I got a drone? Hover mode active. No, oh, it's hover mode. But yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have that on. Um, what the hell is a drone? I don't think I've got a drone. Come on. Drone, not a sign. Well, that would help. Okay, let's go deploy drone. Uh. Alright, let's use keyboard then. Q and X, bugger it. Okay. Now, of course, the controls are different for the drone. A drone 
and try to stow the foul. Oh. Okay. Maybe I need to try and take out some more turrets. Should I deactivate hopper mode? On one hand, it could be quite useful, and on another hand, we don't have much uh, agility with it on. Of course, now I can't remember how I turned it on. Uh, Of, uh, oh yes, that's right. Okay, we're going to have to be careful here. A lot of red dots on the radar. Well, over there somewhere, but I have trouble getting the chopper to do what I want it to do. Okay, can we get a lock? Are we in dumb firing mode? Is that what it... Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't get anything to, uh, Be ready to fly low, Remember your primary fire out. Out. I don't know why. Get in, get out. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. We ran out of ammo or something. Bloody weird. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. Uh, we're going to take out some of the enemy choppers first. You see, this one trying to... Well, he was coming up behind us, but... They're uh, patrolling around. <laughs> oh man. Gemologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpected What the hell is wrong with the bloody camera? The Oh, they were... Okay. I, I think I see what went wrong, although... No, it shouldn't be doing that. That's... I don't think that's right, but anyway... Um, yeah, we've... I think we've... Can't restart either, so we just have to get killed basically. I don't know, someone's shooting at me. Sounds like a chopper. <laughs> No. Remember your primary what task. happened? Get in, get out. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Yeah, this camera. This is weird. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. 
With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. What's what's wrong with this camera? I don't remember it being like this when we were first uh, flying in here. What the hell? Something's happened, I don't know what. This is Lynx. Be ready to fly lower. What happened Remember to the your camera? primary task? Get in, get out, bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. Yeah. Dramologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity oh might be messing goodness. with the instruments. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shit, a break. This is what the heck. Nah, something's gone skew I don't know what, but must be a conflict in my controls, but it's quite weird because I didn't actually change anything. All I did was change the um, the drone, adding a drone um, deploy button. So I don't know why this is all of a sudden all is it being affected. You need to hack the data access point to find the location of the Rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to your drone's computer. These codes were quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Yeah, sounds like you've got to use the drone. Well, here we are. Uh, let's deploy a drone. Buffer mode active. Um... Let's just go down quite low. Hopefully we don't get picked up. And then the drone. See if we can sneak around this way. I think they've, uh, they're attacking my helicopter. Well, I think we destroyed them, but they destroyed us, so... This is Lynx. Be ready to fly low, Rook. Oh, my goodness. Get in, get out, bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Our readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. Dramologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, which which. <laughs> yep, sound like a chopper. Hello, you son of a bitch. You need 
need to hack the data access point to find the location of the Rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to your drone's computer. These codes were quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Okay, can you tell me here? Oh, it's using clears, eh? Yes. Come on, come on. Shit, not good, not good. So that's the two enemy helicopters. Shoot, must be shoot pattern. <laughs> Okay, now what? Do I shoot it? What do I do? Desktop. What am I supposed to do here? Special ability interact. So A and Y. Let's try A. No, Y. No. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just shoot the damn thing. No, that wouldn't be right, would it?
What do I do? Infiltrate and hack the network. Yeah, so what's the problem? Ah, interact. Hmm, they must have more facilities here than we expected. There's oh, no time to deal with this now. But trust me, Rook. The intel you are collecting will keep us busy for a very long time. The world is changing fast these days. The rhino must be in a hangar elsewhere on this island. You'll likely so, need to use your drone to get inside the hangar and find the rhino. Okay, so how far away is that from here? Is that 1,000? Does that mean I have to uh, fly there, perhaps? Well, we need to get down too high up uh, yes okay we've got problems Not a good idea. Not a good idea. What am I doing? <laughs> what the f <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is Lynx. Be ready to fly low, Rook. Remember your primary task. Get in, get out. Bring back the rhino, safe and sound. Yeah, that sucks. Uh -uh. I should have saved it. <laughs> I should have saved. Our an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. What the heck? Yeah, no. Demologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Yeah, well we know that you can't do this without destroying two patrolling helicopters, so... They haven't picked me up yet. But... Saying that, what the hell's wrong with this? Look, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of yeah, the Yeah, now they're probably gonna... Uploaded a wide yep, of access that one's to coming around. These codes were quite pricey, so do Where try is to he? make use of them. He's probably gonna be right above me. Yeah, he's gone off. I don't think I could stay here and just bloody not get picked up, but I suppose I could try. No, he's one coming back this way. No, he's behind me in the. Let's see if he comes around the corner. Uh, maybe we'll be okay here. Let's try it. Mode active.
Oh, you're kidding me. See, I bloody knew it, eh? Yeah, but he made me go hide and you know, get everything out of me. Damage registered. Damage registered. Damage registered. Son of a... Oh, man. This is Lynx. If you're ready to fly low, Rook, remember your primary task. Get Why in, do I get out, it? bring back the Rhino, safe and sound. Readings indicate an intricate network of caves spanning these canyons. Your command team might be able to fit through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. That one turret down. Come on, come and get me. Where are you? Oh, I see what's happened. Yeah. <laughs> because the different control between the drone and the chopper. Bloody annoying. Gemologist HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Uh, there's a chopper. So where is he? He's in. He's in that cave. There he is. Yeah, he's using flares. He can shoot at me, but I can shoot at him. And then there's another one, not moving at the moment. Look, you need to hack the data access point to find the location of the Rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to your drone's computer. These codes were quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Where is he? Yeah, son of a... That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Bring back the Rhino, safe and sound. I guess if you had a light stick, this would be a hell of a lot easier. Network of caves spanning these canyons. Your Comanche might be able to get through, but you'll have to maneuver carefully. With a bit of luck, the caves might get you to Dramologist HQ unnoticed. You yeah, see, why is the camera pointing up? Just HQ should be near. Our intel on the topology of this island is vague. 
The unexpectedly high volcanic activity might be messing with the instruments. Why can't I get a lock on that? Oh, so I have to actually use that to get a lock. That's that's pretty annoying. They set the camera up and down on a um, deep bed. Hey, yeah, I wonder. Let's go through that cave there. Maybe this is a shortcut. Maybe the enemy helicopters don't come through here. We got a Yeah, it's quite a far way out, isn't it? Taking damage. Look, you need to have the data access point to find the location of the rhino. We've uploaded a wide array of access codes to your drone's computer. These codes are quite pricey, so do try to make use of them. Missile incoming. Damage what the hell? Where did that come from? Did that come through the top of the bloody cave? Was there a helicopter behind me? Come on! Yeah, there's still some choppers around. Must be above. It can't be below. <laughs> okay, let's just hold it there. Get back to our drone. Maybe we can get into the base. Signal to drone. Yummy helicopter. Damage registered. Why isn't it? Oh, there it is. Oh, that takes care of that. Damage yeah, this is a different way. I'm not sure if it's a bit away or not, but how far away are we? Can't see any.
<sighs> just have to wait for that tank to do its thing. Facilities here than we expected. Right, so no now we can destroy this now. drone because we don't need any more. Uh, I'm not sure if destroy was W. No, nah, it destroys X. Of course it would be, wouldn't it? Because, you know, time. W would be too the easy, wouldn't it? The rhino must be in a hangar elsewhere on this island. You'll likely need to use your drone to get inside the hangar and find the rhino. Hmm. Do I need to go that way, do I? Which way? I know, I kind of feel a bit safer going this way. Probably. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Continue on. Okay. okay. Let's try to take the drone out from here. Oh, here comes an enemy boat. Pick us up shooting at it. Luckily. Okay, let's just hold here.
Kane and we use it to I got a crash here. It says pure virtual function being called while application was running. GLS running equals equals one. So I think maybe maybe we've crashed. Yeah. Oh, that, that. Oh, isn't that, isn't that so annoying? Oh, well, they actually use the Unreal Engine. Oh, well. Um. I'll leave it at that. That's for the demo of a game called Comanche. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can go to the uh, Comanche store page on Steam and you can find the button there to download demo. Um, it looks quite cool and the trailers and everything, but to play it, um, it just seems to me like you got to have a um, a flight stick because, yeah, it it's just not really playable on a gamepad. I don't think so. Anyway, I mean, maybe somebody might have made a customized control panel layout for um, the Steam controller configuration for this game, but yeah, I don't think I'd kind of buy a game based on, you know, the possibility of that, so <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.